Uh, welcome to the only cider apple orchard in the whole of Croatia, or at least the start of one. Just going to take you through and show you what we've got. Uh, some successes and some disastrous failures, but we're seeing which apple trees from England are the best suited for the climate here. Here we have a grafted Broxwood Foxwell. I uh, had horrible green fly earlier on. Uh, I said I wouldn't spray it, but oh, I had to spray it. This was a, uh, a saddle graft from last year, last April. It's doing quite well. Over here, these four trees were bought from a nursery in England. And this is their first year here, and as you can see, they're not doing very well. But grafts I took off them and grafted onto existing trees are doing very well indeed, which is interesting. That's a, uh, what is that? That's a Kingston Black. This is a crab apple tree. I've put this here because uh, it'll serve to fertilize all the other trees. This is a dabby net. I should take the apples off, you know. Uh, it's, like I say, it's, it's first year here. It's not two year old yet, but uh, I like to see apples. I like to see them. Right, over this side. This is a Somerset Red Streak. Again, it was a saddle graft from last April. So it's, uh, what's that, about 15, it's been growing about 15 months now. And I've left apples on this as well, just to see what they look like. It's very, very healthy. I'm really pleased with Somerset Red Streak. It seems to be, seems to suit this place perfectly. This is a Kingston Black. Now, look at that one, compared to that first one we saw. This is really, really healthy, really robust. It's growing really, really fast and really thick stems. It's uh, excellent. Again, this, this wasn't a saddle graft. This was, I believe, a cleft graft. Yes, it was. It's one of a pair of cleft graft. And it's done very well. Uh, on this side, got a dabby net, not doing very well. We're having to give them loads and loads of water. Uh, there's been problems with these trees. But these are trees that have come directly from England rather than grafts. The grafts, as I said, I've taken from them, have done very well indeed. The Somerset Red Streak, another one, doing well. A failure from last year and I think yeah over here this is a, a, a bud graft I did in August last year and this is doing very well also uh, Somerset Red Street or a Broxwood Foxwell Broxwood Foxwell and this is another Somerset Red Street as you can see these are very very healthy trees I'm very pleased with them I thought they'd fall to all kinds of disease here in Croatia, but they're doing very well, even in this intense heat. Over here, here's what I believe is a Harry Masters jersey. This is a, this is a graft from this year. This I grafted in April this year, and it's now July, so that's done very well. This is a Somerset Red Streak, grafted this year. Again, a saddle graft, also doing well. And this is a dabby net. This, if you saw that scrappy looking dabby net at the, at the end there, this is a cutting, I took off that and saddle grafted it rather late, right in the middle of April. It was very, very late. You can see what a poor graft it was, but it was the only tree available and amazingly it grew. Just goes to show. Another splendid Somerset Red Streak. This is from last year. Uh, Yallington Mill here. This again is from one of these trees that came from England that had a spare bit of wood. I took that off, saddle grafted it, and it's doing great. Better than the original tree. This is just local variety. Again, lots of apples on it. Shouldn't have so many on, but... Over here... I planted 
planted a I planted a Tom Putt tree, Tom Putt in uh, January this year and again I took a cutting off it and saddle grafted it it's really really fat stems uh, shooting out from it's really really healthy looking tree isn't it? this tree was problematical I've been using it for all sorts of grafts and everything and I put three grafts on this but only one took this again is another Somerset red streak Harry Masters jersey, where that cutting for Harry Masters would take from. This is his second year. Amongst all the plum trees, we have another Somerset red streak, but also a Brookswood Foxwell. So there's two different trees on there. And now the disasters. planted this year uh, and this row of trees here are ones that have come from England slow but it's making progress the a Yarlington mill it'll probably do much better next year this is the rather poor looking specimen of Tom Putt which I took the cutting from I assume it's problems with the roots the roots not big enough you have to water it all the time This is a tremulous bitter and it's just not doing anything. Just not doing anything, no mind how we feed it or how we water it. It'll probably do better this year, like next year. It's a good tree, it's just nothing happening this year. Another Yarlington mill with another little bit of growth. And a dabinet. As you can see, these were watered last night, about nine o'clock at night, and they still need more. It was really, really hot here about 38 degrees every day the other trees were just planted to use as uh, for grafting onto and everything we put onto these newly planted trees didn't work probably because we did it a little bit too late and of course the newly planted trees better look next year <laughs>